What is up, Sneeples? We are back at it again. We do this at the end of every month, and this is the February Talishar data tier list. Uh, a lot of words in one <laughs> title, but uh, let's break down what that exactly means. Every month, we do a tier list of all the heroes, and we base this tier list purely on the stats that are given to us by February that is taken on Talishar. So this is... Talishar, um, which most of you will know, is where you go to uh, practice games and get some online games. And so that data can be collected, as February has here, and then organized into percentages. And we look at these percentages, which is the overall percentages of this hero into every matchup. And we judge them accordingly, making a tier list so let's get into what we have seen for the month of june as this is the last day of june uh first i want to mention that we actually our last tier list was in april um this was this tier list here where we saw victor in s tier uh, we saw viscerai and riptide make a surge into a tier which was pretty cool and we saw warriors and ko uh, hold a solid ground in A tier as well as like Azalea and Dash. Now, if we look at the amount of games, there's 165,000 games, we get a little bit of an increase in June. But I want to show why we actually skipped May. And that's because we only saw 85,000 games played. And the reason that happened is because Park the Missville came out in a, the middle of May, which meant that a lot of players. We're playing under the open uh, format for CC and Blitz, and that data is not tracked on this. And so we did not see a lot of games uh, because people were testing out the new meta. Uh, but with June, that gives us plenty of time for people to know how to play the new decks or how to play against the new decks. And so now we are seeing a more smooth data set and we can uh, make some inferences based on this data. So. We also see it's 169,000 games, so slightly more than April. Uh, people are definitely training for Nats and just excited for the uh, part the Missile set. All right, without further ado, let's get into what we have for this month tier list, and that is no hero in the S tier. And that is because no hero made it to 55% as far as their overall percentage against all matchups. 55% is where you would be, start to get a solid green or a little bit of a green tint. Um, and no one did that. Azalea got the closest at 54%. And that's why she is on top. Um, but no one else. Um, now, we also see that Victor has moved from S tier to A tier. A lot of people thought Victor would be, you know, maybe it, myself included, thought that maybe Victor would come down to B tier just because of the... Uh, surgeons uh, or like the introduction of enigma and new but turns out that wasn't a big factor so if we look at i'll bring up azalea here and i'll bring up victor as well but if we look at these two heroes um they have a lot of green matchups which means they have a lot of favorable matchups victor still does struggle into what was predicted with enigma and ko or kano as well as KO a little bit. New is also still a struggle for Victor. So those were predicted right. The thing is, that was not predicted right. Azalea does uh, suffer to Victor. So that's why Victor is doing very well. Um, because he can beat the best deck. But anyways, as, let me finish my thought here. So <laughs> the reason why Victor is doing well enough to be in the A tier is not because of how popular Enigma and New is. Because that would put him down to B tier. It's because of how popular Zen is. So we're going to get into Zen. Um, but if, I want to talk about uh, Victor and Azalea first. So uh, they have good matchup spreads. Um, you know, their bad matchups are few and far between. So they're looking very good. KO. KO is still a very solid deck. We see KO, Dash, and Dorinthia still holding strong on the A tier. Very solid heroes. Has a good spread with them. Riptide holding strong on the A tier. Let's talk about him real quick just because he's fun to look at. You don't often see Riptide relevant in the meta, and so it's cool that he is now. 
Um, and if we look at him, a lot of solid matchups. Yes, does struggle a little bit into the best uh, hero, according to Talishar for this month. But has great matchups into Dorinthia, into Zen, or I'm sorry, into Enigma. 50-50 um, into Dash. And then does struggle into Kano, but that's okay, because he's not that much. Does very well into New. Does decent into Zen. It's about a 50-50. Uh, does definitely struggle into Victor. So, um, you know, Riptide does pretty good to a, a good amount of these heroes, but... Uh, you know, some of them give some problems. That's why he's not in the top of eight here, right? And then now let's talk about the three new heroes that we see on A tier. Uh, Prism in April was in the B tier. She is now in the A tier range. Uh, that is because she has a good matchup into the most popular deck. And that is Zen. Zen has been showing up very much in uh, the national uh, meta that is going around in different countries right now zen is the most popular hero having the strongest numbers of players playing representing him um, as well as he is an aggressive deck and local metas tend to have a more aggressive meta like your local army will tend to have a, a a few casual players be playing the aggressive deck and that's because casual players tend to lean towards the aggressive decks rather than the control -y decks or the combo decks because aggressive decks um, are fun and they're easy to pilot and easy to navigate and just make for uh, easier games for a more casual player base so zen is not only having success with the casuals but also with the pros so zen is very very popular right now his win percentage is only at 51 percent he does struggle in some matchups like azalea uh dash can give him trouble new is one that's giving him trouble and that's why we see new in the top uh tier with a tier and then as mentioned before victor so uh zen is a good hero for sure definitely just like you know from its first full month of uh testing he is in the a tier you know uh, some of these heroes still struggling to make it to a tier he immediately made it as well as new so uh, it goes to show Park to Mistville definitely put some power heroes out here. All right, now let's talk about the B tier. And we'll start with the uh, last of the Park to Mistville heroes is Enigma. Unfortunately for Enigma fans out there, Enigma is struggling because of Zen. Um, that is why Enigma is in the B tier it's because Zen is a tough, tough, tough matchup for her. Uh, so she is going to struggle into Zen while the other heroes can, you know, maybe race him or uh, disrupt him uh, where she cannot. She also has a not a great matchup into Azalea, according to these stats. So, you know, if you're not going to be able to beat the most popular hero or the best hero, you're going to have a hard time finding a place in the A tier, which is why she's in the top of the B tier. She still has a good matchup percentage into a good uh, mix of the field. But, uh, you know, she probably has to work a little bit harder than some other heroes, right? Uh, Riptide's a tough matchup into her. KO could be a little tough. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's not easy for Enigma all the time. Um, with that, we're seeing Bolton. He, I believe, was... Like, yeah, top of B tier. He's holding strong there. Um, B tier really is. You got to be a little bit lucky to make it into the top eights. And I think that's definitely the case for Enigma and Bolton. Dash IO, very much the same way. Uh, she is a wild card, but she's been holding on to the B tier ranking. Kasai did get dropped. It seems like things are a little bit tougher for Kasai nowadays. It seems like if you are to play Warrior, it should be Dorinthia. Uh, if we look at Kasai here, 48%. Not the worst, obviously, but Enigma is a tough one. Dorinthia as a warrior, Mir is tough. Kano is still around. Riptide is now in the A tier. That's going to be tough. And then, yes, we're still seeing Victor around as well as Zin. Zin is just a good racer. So uh, Kasai is struggling a little bit to, to find her way back into the A tier. Instead, probably going to be in the B tier for the foreseeable future. Kano sticking in the B tier is being more and more represented. Uh, did get the card Kindle, 
so that is going to help put some numbers in there. But we aren't seeing the results. Um, and that is because Kano's hard. Kano's a hard deck to uh, pilot in the most controlled manner. Uh, sometimes you have to be a little reckless and, uh, you know, just do a blind Kano here and there. And sometimes it works and sometimes it just doesn't. And when it does it, you're not going to win, right? So Kano lives a little bit of a brute life in that sense. Um, and is why he is a solid B tier. Because he did get a good card to make him better. But um, even the Kano Masters can have a hard time. Uh, Vincent, that is one that we are seeing reach the B tier at the very end. She's holding the strong. She also got a new card. Um, she just has a decent stat. That's really all it is. Um, nothing really much else to her. I think it's cool that she has been made relevant, but, um, yeah, like she just has not the best matchups and that's, what's really holding her back. Um, where her good matches are is prism. Um, and that's about it. So, uh, she's going to be a, you know, very solid B tier hero. Uh, Leviya, oh, and Katsu and Leviya, these have been B tier heroes. Leviya did get a new card. I thought that would put her into the A tier, but it seems that she still just can't get out of it. Again, it's Zen, right? Zen is just so hard for her. 39% success rate. Dorinthia is not great. Azalea is not great. I mean, she is looking rough right now. So, uh, yeah, despite getting a new card, which is a very good card, it's just not enough. Speaking of getting new cards, Uzuri got some new cards, uh, but nothing enough to put Uzuri into any sort of relevancy. 46%, not a very high percentage. Uh, so poor Uzuri is going to struggle um, in this meta. Now let's talk about the CT heroes, and these are the heroes that could spike, which means... It has to line up. The gym gods have to look upon you favorably if you play one of these heroes. Um, and that is starting with Phi, the old aggressive hero. Phi technically gets new cards in the last two sets, but it's not feeling that way. Rowdy Locals, I don't think it's going to be good enough for Phi to make any sort of impact. And we see it translate over into his stats uh, at 43%. Just not looking great. Uh, Max did get the supercell, but that's not translating great as of now. Viserai, Viserai had A tier in April, was a top of A tier, and has dropped all the way down to C tier. Let's look at why. We're at a 42% win rate. The surgeons of Azalea has been rough. Um, the Enigma as a new hero hasn't helped. The warrior, Dorinthia, is still on top. KO is still there. New is another rough matchup. Prism's a rough matchup. Like, we're not looking good, right? We have a good Riptide, right? Good Riptide matchup. That's nice. Um, but that's it, right? Even Victor's a bad one. Zen's out racing us. So, Viscera is really, just really struggled with, like, the emergence of these new heroes. So, unfortunately... Uh, Bravo was in B tier, same way, just struggling. Everyone in the C tier was in the B tier, except for Phi. I think Phi was in the C tier last time, and now they're just struggling. And if anything, Phi is the only one that's kind of holding on, but he's just holding on to his spot of C tier, which isn't good. So uh, every all these other heroes have dropped, um, with Viserai being the biggest drop. So sorry, Runeblade fans, but you guys know you're getting some cool stuff coming up. Uh, all right, and let's talk about don't play. In April, we only saw Olympia here. Even Betsy got out of here. But if we look at the stats of these heroes, like Arachne is at 37. That's abysmal. Betsy, 32. Abysmal. Uh, Olympia, still bad. And then Teclavossin at 30. Teclavossin. Went from being a C tier hero to being the worst hero in the format currently. So, uh, and he got a lot of new cards, you know, in the expansion side, but it doesn't seem to be working, unfortunately. So, sorry, my tech fans out there. It's just not the time, it would seem, um, unless you can find a broken new deck. So, and that is it. That is the tier list for June. 
Uh, that's we have seen no S tier heroes. A lot of D tier heroes, as in don't play, and then just a ton of A and B tier heroes. So hopefully things change for July. Hopefully we see a a, a emergence of a S tier hero come out of the Nats season to dominate the other heroes, and then hopefully we see some of these heroes get out of the D tier so that you don't look at the July's video and see your hero down here. I hope your hero's not here. And if they are, I hope they get out of it. Uh, but that is what we got for the Talishar stats given to us by February. That is our tier list. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you are a Patreon subscriber, thank you so much for your support. It is so greatly uh, appreciated. It helps me gave quite a bit. Um, and it continues us to make more videos for you guys. So I definitely appreciate it. If you want to be a Patreon member, be sure to check it out. But a special thanks to all these uh, on screen now. Um, but that is it. That is all I have for you guys. So uh, in the meantime, get out there. Go play some Talishar. Get ready for your nets. And keep on batting.